Let's say that Drupal has internal function for rendering menu. If you want to, for example, add new item in main menu, you need to create new function with special signature. Signature comes from hook underscore menu. You can take a look on documentation on this link. Let's see small example for better explanation. Paste into file my slider that module example from documentation mentioned before and do same changes as I do. Now save file and clear cache. You should see new item in main menu and if you click on the item you will see text my text. If you go back to page api.drupal.org and you search for hook underscore menu, you will see again our documentation how you can hook on Drupal menu system. Let's go through our code and explain what's going on in there line by line. Name of our first function is my slider underscore menu. It comes from hook underscore menu where word hook you need to change with name of our module. For us, it is my slider. That's why the whole name is my slider underscore menu. We are returning array with path test slash my path title test item page callback, which means that our other function render underscore sum underscore test underscore content will take care of rendering content after clicking on menu item. Next line is saying that item will be stored in main menu. And also we need to set permission because we want to allow this item for all users. Function render underscore sum underscore test underscore content is a callback function where we are returning array of type markup and the render text is my text. Let's summarize it one more time. We need to hook on Drupal menu system, then we can create a new array with path, title, callback function, place and permission. Hooks are probably the hardest part of this tutorial, so in the next chapter I will try to explain it with examples, what they are and how to use them.